Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, in addition to the questions that are being asked, Madam Speaker, I, I needed a little clarity myself, to just be clear. So let's say, for example, the, a special report is tabled on the matter that the country is waiting to hear, the illicit six. Um, that would come to the House and go order or to No, the... on a point of order, I do not know of what you are speaking, member. It's a... Mm -hmm. I don't know, no. Please, please, please remove that comment. Please remove that comment. That comment is inappropriate, doesn't belong in the House, and is not included in any document submitted in this Honourable House. Please remove I, I, your comment. I've, I've heard what you have said, Madam Speaker. And Hansa, with please that. strike the comment. Um, and perhaps I am one of the few members in this House who many years ago had a report tabled from the Office of the Contractor General at the time, over 500 pages of a report. And at that time, the speaker did not take particular positions and it was tabled in a particular manner. So that is why I can say, and there was nothing, there was no wrongdoing in the report, anything. It just took a, a lot of my time, a lot of media time. And I think it is important that when people are being investigated, that certainly those of us who are in this house, because it can happen to perhaps any one of us as public officers. However, the point I would like to ask you, or the question I'd like to ask you, is at a time when politicians are seen as being unfortunately lumped as corrupt individuals, and it doesn't matter how hard we work, it doesn't matter what we do, it doesn't matter how many public things we file, all of us are lumped together. So if we, if we are, if we are, if we are here, if we... some are, let's know who. All right, hang on. Members, members. So Madam Speaker. Members, please allow Member Hanno. Madam Speaker. Please allow Madam Member Hanno to speak. I'm, I'm, my major concern is that if we are now appearing as a parliament to suggest to the public that in issues of controversy or what might be deemed as controversial, that we will take the position to change rules to suit us, that that might not go down well. So I just want you to... I would like you to take note that your statement about changing rules is absolutely incorrect. The rules are actually not being changed. The rules are being... No, the ru no, so it is not us who are changing rules, and I do not want you to give that impression to the public. We are not changing rules. I do not re know of which report you speak, but, but in the past... I am I'm going to finish before you continue. I have to be careful about some things. Would you like to clarify? Go ahead, well, clarify. Because what I asked you to read it, mm -hmm. and what I said, mm -hmm. what I said, Madam Speaker, mm -hmm. we can't appear to be giving that impression. I, and I wouldn't want you to appear to even say it. So that is why I'm saying mm -hmm. I asked for clarity, because mm -hmm. the public mm -hmm. might get the impression that that is what, if we are going to be looking and reviewing mm -hmm. at this particular time. That's why I'm asking you just to make it very clear. All right. So, member, member Hanno, you are correct. The indication that we should review, it is not with a view of my instructing that any changes be made in any rules. The reason I have said I believe it is important for us to continuously interrogate or review our legislations is that we may find subsequently that what was passed may not have been our intent. What was our intent is not the practice. And so we should always go back to look at the legislations. Equally, the standing orders which are the rules that govern us, are not necessarily all written out in all respects. 
And there may be issues that come from time to time where the House feels that instead of leaving it for the Speaker to rule or the President to rule, the House would like to now apply a rule which the Speaker or the President would be obliged to function in that mechanism as stated in the standing orders. And so my comment is where we believe we need to strengthen the legislation, strengthen the standing order, it is our job to do so. Thank you. Madam Speaker, you did say that you had wanted me to pause and um, I would have been given a chance to come back. And it is on that basis I'm coming back. Madam Speaker, again, it's just simple clarity that um, I require. And I suspect from what I've heard that uh, what I'm going to say is true, but I'd want to get the clarity from you that whatever um, the ruling is and in keeping with the rules that govern us, that nothing here is meant to hide or obfuscate any ruling that might call any of us into and question. I would, and member, on I am telling you and to I'm stop it. Member, I'm telling you to stop it. I notice you like to make statements that you know the response to, and I would appreciate, and I would appreciate if you do. Member, I would appreciate if you do not continue to do so in the future because in doing so, you are actually all making an effort, I would think, to mislead the people of Jamaica. My s My statement started with there is an untrue narrative of deliberate delay in tabling reports sent to the House. And I will give you a copy of this all right we want to ensure as a parliament that it is understood that the concern raised by member hannah where we are seen as corrupt is because of exactly that behavior um opposition leader The opposition leader is on his feet. The opposition leader is on his feet. Members, 